is still a great little drone. I've had mine for a little over a year now and I'm still enjoying it. Now one of the things I like to do with uh, drones that I review is I like to show and chronicle my experience over the course of my ownership so you can really get to see how the drone performs over time and you learn a lot about the drones over time. So in my opinion the Anafi is still one of the better compact drones out there. Definitely underrated. Now I've done a series of videos on the Parrot and Affy, probably about 10 or 11 videos thus far. So if you're interested in that, I'll leave a link down in the description box for that entire playlist. But I thought I would do some videos on things that may not be explained very well in the instructions manual, or just things that I wanna get more information about. So it kind of forces me to do the research if I'm gonna do a video and share that information with you. So today we're starting with this. I'm gonna break down what this global reactivity slider means coming up. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the settings. And we're gonna go to presets. Now I'm gonna switch this over to sports mode because it'll be more noticeable um, what we're about to explain and what you're about to see here. You can see that the global reactivity is at 100%. Okay, we're in sports mode, it's at 100%. We're gonna launch. Okay, so, you're about to learn something today. <laughs> shout, out to, shout out to Joshua Bardwell. Okay, so, I always wonder like, what the heck is this global reactivity? Here's what it is. Okay, at 100%, I'm going to fly to the left, fly to the right, and if you notice my hand movements here, the drone is reacting immediately. See that? And can you see how it stops? Let's go forward, same thing. It kind of snaps back. See that? Forward, back, forward, back. See that? Okay, now we're gonna go into the settings. We're gonna turn down global reactivity. I'm gonna turn it all the way down. Let's just go all the way to 1%. All right, now, left, see how slowly it, it reacts, see that? So it's basically reaction time. Whoa, that was weird. So right, left, see how long it takes to react? Okay, let's go forward, see that? See how slowly it stops, see that? Wow, it's doing something weird though. When it snaps back, it actually flies backwards. Just be careful when you um, bring the uh, sticks back to center that you don't pull back. I think that's what I was doing. So anyway, that's forward. I'm stopping. See how long it takes? And it actually does come back. Flying back, letting off the sticks. And it goes forward a little bit. That's weird. But anyway, you get the idea. It's basically the sensitivity of your stick inputs, right? And how quickly the drone will react to your stick input. So watch this. Left, left, right. See how long it takes? Oh, woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Okay, that was close. All right, let's do that again. Left. Right, see how long it takes to react? Right, left, see that? It takes a minute for it to react. Okay, let's go into the settings again. I'm going to move it to, I'm gonna move it to about halfway. Say 49%. Right, left, right, left. That's a little better, see that? Right, left, right, left. There's still, it's still a little bit of, delay, uh, of a delay. Forward, back, forward, back. So I imagine if you're really looking to be deliberate in your movements and you wanna be cinematic, you're gonna want your global reactivity to be lower, right? 
If you're in sports mode though, and you really want the drone to react immediately to your stick inputs, you're gonna kick up that global reactivity. Okay, that's pretty much it guys. Now, if we go over to film, they actually, in the app, here it actually gives you, looks like a recommended global reactivity point of 19%. See that hash line there? So when you go above that, they're saying, okay, you're not as smooth now. See that? See how smooth you can get? And I believe I am recording, so you'll have the footage of, yep. So see that? We're in film mode. Oh, I got a car coming, so let me move the drone over. But can you see that there? I actually didn't try it with the uh, yaw. Let's see. Uh, let's see how it changes the yaw. See how slow that yaw is. I like it like that on purpose when I'm filming in film mode. But let's uh, let's go over here. Uh, I'm going to kick up the global reactivity all the way, and we're yawing. It does not affect yaw. Not really. See that? Not by much. All right, take that back. Let's check it now. Right, left, right, yeah. It really doesn't. Okay, so it's mainly your right stick, your pitch and roll, right? Okay. Rolling, 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 pitching, pitching. See that? Okay, guys, that's all to it. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful. If so, let me know down in the comment section below. And once again, don't forget to check out my full playlist on the Parrot and Affy. And let me know if there's anything that you want me to dig into for you. All right then, be good to somebody, be good to yourself. I will see you in the next one. Later y'all.